Hi, everyone. We are just a couple minutes late. I apologize for that little delay, but welcome to Hope After the Landslide. I am Jackie Van Workham, and I am the founder of Grieving Moms Finding Hope, and this is my Lorraine. beautiful friend, yes. Lorraine. <laughs> Lorraine Dawson. Lorraine, Hi. and Hi, Lorraine everyone. and I met through um, not the greatest of circumstances, right. but... Um, I love her, and I just am so honored to have her here with us. And actually, after we are done with this Facebook Live, we are going to go right next door. We are live from Saddleback Church, and we're going to talk to a group of people that uh, is called, well, I can let you tell them what it is. Um, we, my husband and I facilitated a support group called Survivors of Suicide Loss, and we meet at Saddleback Church the first and third Tuesday of every month. So if you're ever out here in Lake Forest, we'd love to have you join us. Yes, and I got to go there initially, too. And uh, unfortunately, both Lorraine and, and myself have lost mm -hmm. our boys through suicide. And mm -hmm. not a good time. But Lorraine is, and her husband, Chris, have taken over the group, and they've done a wonderful job. So after we're done with this, we are going to go over. We're going to talk to the moms separately and the dads. But Lorraine, tell me, um, tell the moms there about your story and how God has taken you through this whole situation. Well, on February the 1st, 2014, uh, we received a uh, knock on the door in the evening, and it was the Riverside coroner. And uh, much to our surprise, she asked if we had a son who drove a red uh, Ford Ranger truck, and we said yes. And she said that they found our son, Matthew Dawson, uh, in the car, and he had shot himself um, with his gun uh, that morning. Mm. And it was a total surprise to us. And so it's been four years, um, you know, February 1st. And it's been a long four years, a hard four years. But God has been with us uh, through every step and seeing us through. And here we are today, you know, we're able to help others. And, you know, helping others has really helped us also. So... Here we are, and um, Jackie joined us. She and her husband joined us um, when their son took his life also. So it's been a journey that we never thought we would be on. No. And it's been a journey that I never even knew personally what the journey consisted of. But through a lot of help and organizations and caring people, um, we have realized how prevalent suicide is now in our culture. Oh, absolutely. Right? It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's just getting to be yeah. more and more common. And I know a lot of you have lost, you know, children through a lot of different circumstances. And both of us want to just say we're so sorry because, you know, yeah. as Lorraine said, when she gets the knock on the door or you get the phone call or you actually find your child, it's none of it is I know that we could all remember that moment, you know, that, that oh, moment. Yeah. It's like it's like this out-of-body experience. It's Yeah, I thought it was a joke. Mm. When the coroner came, mm -hmm. I thought... A bad joke, right? Yeah, a bad joke. Mm -hmm. I thought, really? And she, the young gal, the coroner sat on our... Uh, sheriff sat on our couch, and she explained everything. And I even said, do you mind if I touch you? Because I thought it wasn't mm -hmm. real as nothing. Oh. Our... Our Matthew was uh, 27. He uh, the Eagle Scout, um, accomplished photographer, graphic artist, just graduated from college, landed a great job, um, leading Bible studies, and was just go, you know, like just uh, taking off. And was stuff. such a shock. I even followed her out to the car because oh. I didn't think it was real. Now, and were, I you were you alone? No, it's just my husband and I. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But it was so, we didn't see any mm. signs with Matthew. We thought maybe he was a little stressed out. You know how it is when sure. you um, graduate from college and you're starting to, you know, get on your own. That's a stressful time. Yeah. And I didn't want to be one of those helicopter moms. You know, yes. Mom. But, I mean, we saw him like every other weekend. We text and everything. And even that Wednesday, you know, I, I had two other girls. And I said, you know, good night, kiddos, texting, you know. And they joked back. Mm -hmm. And he joked back. Mm -hmm. That was Wednesday. And um, wow. it's just yeah. so sad, you know, for I, I give talks um, about it. And one of the things is I can remember exactly what I was doing that morning, hmm. which is so ironic. You know, yeah. my husband and I bought a tandem bike because we were like becoming empty nesters. Mm -hmm. And so we were having fun on our tandem bike. And little did I know that Matthew was in despair. And um, we lived in Marietta area and he took his life in the hills. 
um, near um, Tanaha Falls and um, it, it was just like very mm. numbing it's like and it you know it took us a long time I think because Matthew it was so out of the blue and for everyone his college professors his bosses his friends he would be like the last guy yeah. so it really did take like they say sometimes it takes two years for that realization to sink in yeah and it really it really did even to this day i'll look at a picture of matthew and go really matthew mm. it's so unlike him but we've learned about the broken brain and um you know how the brain is just like any other organ oh, sure and it doesn't take a whole lot for the brain to kind of get off kilter for uh, various reasons and that's what we think with matthew so yeah, um, it, it's uh, what I mean. And and why would you be thinking that? I mean, I even saw some pictures that you guys were on a trip together someplace, your whole family with your mm -hmm. girls, and yeah, life goes on. And here you are with Chris, just trying to prepare for retirement, and and like uh -huh. you said, empty nesters, uh -huh. and and then yeah. all of a sudden this just comes out of nowhere. Right. And and you're right. right there. That's what happens. It's like it. You never know what someone's going to be capable of in that one dark moment. No. And we can't judge their whole life. I know no. with Randy that a lot of people had asked me, you know, well, was he strange as a child? I'm like, no, mm -hmm. you know, he mm -hmm. he was just a normal guy. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. and and I'm sure that um, a lot of moms out there, if you are in a in a suicide situation, uh, or if you're in any situation, there's there's a lot of feelings. I mean, it, I'm sure you had moments where you thought back and like, gosh, you know there's the guilt or there's that oh, yeah. reflection back like did I not do something did I do something uh -huh. but I, I learned through you know Randy leaving messages that you know he mm. said I love my family I had such a great family we were so together uh -huh. you know and uh -huh. I and like your family did everything together I've known her for now it's been almost what two years I guess since we lost Randy and it came in and uh -huh. and actually Lorraine wasn't I want to first say really quick to hi to Kathy and Sherry and the other Kathy and Margie mm -hmm. and Lisa thank you guys for being uh -huh. here and uh, yeah we had we had a little technical difficulty again <laughs> yes. but that's okay we, yeah. prayed, we prayed and God got us on here <laughs> Uh, now I lost my train of thought. Where was I well, going? it's just um, so unexpected. Um, it is. You know, unexpected. one of the things. May I bring up, bring up uh, your book? Sure. Okay. So, so Jackie um, shared with me the book, and I have been look a, at all of these I've little been markers a good in here. And I post. <laughs> I noted all these, knowing today was coming up. Could you just show us what you didn't mark. That'd be cool. There weren't too many things like that. <laughs> 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 One of the things I love from session one, it says, it's okay not to be okay. And I really like that. You know, yeah. February 1st is four years since Matthew has passed. And, um, oh gosh, it, it has been a journey of a lot of ups and downs. You know, after someone dies, when someone just dies, even from natural causes, you wish the world would stop. Yes. You know, like yeah. my mom and dad have passed. Chris's dad has passed. You know, we've had several. And um, you just wish the world would stop, but it doesn't. It yeah, just it keeps doesn't. going just on. Keeps going. So within these four years, we've had uh, to take care of my husband's um, father, and he passed. My brother passed last year. Um, you know, my sister's cancer wow. came back for the fifth time. Oh, wow. Um, and so then just uh, two months before Matthew's uh, fourth anniversary of going home, we, we had gotten a dog on this third anniversary mm. and our dog got ran over and his name is Shag Lathan and it's like devastating and this just happened just happened okay, was, was it two weeks ago uh -huh, just two weeks ago yeah. it was, I cried all over oh. again and this is our fourth year and just for those of you I don't know how far you are in your grief or you know or how long or what have you but so it's four years and um it was devastating, and I cried all night over little Shag, mm -hmm. our little terrier, our little rescue terrier. And it brought, it reminded me of how we grieved for Matthew. And um, just all like all over again. Uh, and even yeah. though it was a little dog, but he was so dear. And um, you know, I just told God, I can't do it again. Yeah. I just cannot grieve. Um, and so you know what we did? We got a new little puppy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was at a study and a gal, she had lost her husband and they had a dog and she knew of our story. And she goes, I'm so glad you got the puppy. 
That's the best thing you did. Some people will do that, and I and I tell you, it just. I mean, you'll never replace your dog, obviously, no. and, but it does help with in the situation. And and I bet at some point, you know, Lorraine, did you just look up and say, "Really? really? Oh, yeah, really, God? Yes." It's like, come on. And I mean, but a these lot. are things. Yeah, I'm sure a lot. A lot. These yeah. are things that, that, I mean, losing parents and, you know, as they age, this is that time of, you know, our life uh -huh. when we start to lose our parents. Yeah. And, and, you know, things happen with dogs, but of course not with our kids. But then, you know, life, like you said, doesn't freeze. It goes on. So, you know, your parents were still going to pass or your sister was going to mm -hmm. pass or brother or, mm -hmm. and then the dog may have had an accident, but it's just it just keeps adding up to it mm -hmm. but what would we do without our relationship with Christ mm -hmm. through this whole process mm -hmm. I I always say I just mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. and and I just always and, want to say go ahead oh you know and it draws us back to our base our faith and that's what it's really done for me in Genesis you know the fall of Adam and Eve has really set the stage that we yes. live in a fallen world yeah. and that answers a lot of things in life when life isn't fair um, and that really answers it. So we're not blaming God. And I've I went for a, at least a two good years just going, really, God? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And that was as far as my prayers went. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I was heavily involved in the prayer ministry, but that's as far as I got. And that is talking to God. It's like, mm -hmm. really, God? And he really, I shared with Jackie, I had three verses, and one is Psalm 4610, you know, be still and know that I am God. Mm. So it's not always, you know, I would always have a tendency to go to God asking for something. Asking, what, what can I do? Mm. Yeah. But did I just um, sit? and just be still and part of it is just being honest with god like really god yes it just is so unfair and the other one there's another one revelations 20 21 4 yeah, you that, that there will be no more um you know when jesus christ comes back there will be no more suffering no more sorrow you know no more pain um and our loved ones who did die by suicide experience that pain you know, mm -hmm. they wanted to get rid of that pain. My son left me in, uh, two notes, um, and he mm -hmm. mentioned the pain that he had. But he just didn't want to live with that pain any longer. Well, in Revelations 21.4, it says there will be no more pain, for the former things have passed. And that yes. really has been helpful. And then the other, um, the third one is that we have that on Mar uh, Matthew's marker. is uh, 1 Thessalonians 4.16 about the dead in Christ will rise first and we will meet them up in the air. Hmm. So those different verses really have given us comfort. And the biggest thing is in praying for our children is that we want to pray for their salvation. Yes. Yes. Because they, you know, as much as we want to pray that they graduate from school or they marry somebody, hmm. you have, you know, the biggest thing is that they have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Absolutely. Because that's the thing that can never be stolen, taken away burned or anything right. you know we'll be in heaven together so it really has drawn my husband and i our faith back to the roots um and just the basics and so you know we praise god for the wisdom that he's given us through these hard journeys right yeah and i want to say that you know that's a question i get asked all the time you know you know we, we always talk about we'll see our children in heaven and then there's moms that are out there that say well i don't know if my child is in heaven well, we know the age of accountability. We know yeah. that, but there's going to be those moments, and you and you think that well, they didn't, well, they weren't walking with the Lord when I do them, and and if they took their life, it was a horrific accident. But you know, I'm just going to tell everybody that I want you to cling to this, which is, you don't know what they were thinking, and if they prayed in that mm -hmm. very last moment, you will never know. So that's the hope that you have mm -hmm. to hang on to, mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. just allow Satan just put those those thoughts in your mind mm -hmm. that. They're not there. And yeah, and they also, another thing to really uh, to remind ourselves is that, you know, for us to get into heaven, it's not based upon our works. That's it's right. based upon our beliefs. Right. And that all of our sins are forgiven, you know, past, present, and future. So, like with Matthew, you know, at his service, the pastor just really felt uh, God sh putting it on his heart to say, that when, you know, when Matthew died, that Jesus said, welcome, welcome mm -hmm. a little early. Yeah, yeah. But welcome. Yeah. You know, his sins are forgiven, and it was not based upon his performance. 
Exactly. Or else none of us will get in because we've all done oh, something amen wrong. Oh, right? amen to that. Amen to that. But it's our belief in him. So praise God that Matthew knew him. But yes, it's been a really um, long journey. It's been a hard journey. It still is. You know, you still have that ripple effect. You know, they want to get rid of yeah. that pain. Yeah. And they think they're getting rid of the pain. But really, you know, from the books, it says, you know, they're, they pass the pain on to our show. Yes, right. they do. They they definitely do, and they and they don't. They're not thinking. They're not in their. They're not in the right mindset. They're no. not thinking about how, the pain that we're going to be left no. with. Uh, I want to say hi to Millie also and Mary. Mm -hmm. See you guys out there. Thank you guys for joining us. I think we're going to see Millie here in a few minutes too. You know Millie. Millie's going to be here tonight. Millie, uh, yes, Millie, and, and uh, you'll you'll know when you see her. Uh, when we had dinner, completely changing uh, a little bit of the subject, but I had dinner with, with my husband and Lorraine and Chris were there. Mm -hmm. We went just to talk about what we were going to discuss for the SOS class that we're going to be doing here momentarily. And, you know, it, there's just something to be said about, and I mentioned to you at dinner, mm -hmm. we're sitting there, the four of us, and we could have a conversation and everything was okay to talk about. You go out with your friends, right? And mm -hmm. they're like, well, we don't want to go out with, you know, Lorraine and Chris or mm -hmm. Jackie and Larry because, oh, my gosh, oh, they're going to talk yeah. about their son. And, yeah. and they don't, you know, we don't want to be, you know, the, 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 the depressing couple that you ask. So, but we go out. And as you can see, we're, we're laughing because we, this is our new life. Right, Lorraine? Yes, this is and our we new share, life. you know, you have that understanding with other people who have, experience suicide loss yeah. and the suicide loss is different than any other loss and again it's horrific it's on the level of a holocaust victim it's yes. that complicated grief which um entails you know guilt did i you know did i fail right. to do something did i fail to see those signs you know yeah. um things like that so we know and i know there was a mom early on in my journey here with suicide she felt like she had an s on the forehead mm -hmm. and it had been three mm -hmm. years since her son had passed and that's yeah. how i feel when you're in new groups and yeah. they you don't know if anyone understands about suicide you know you feel like i felt like a loser yeah a loser yeah. mom you know but uh, most of the time you share about it and before you know it someone has a personal story of being familiar with suicide yet. Isn't that amazing? Well, so and there's I'm, getting it's, to be more of us yes. moms that are feeling that way to where, I hate to say it, but now we can see that most of these moms and dads are come from a family that were just as nurturing as the as the family next door, you know, mm -hmm. so to speak. And mm -hmm. and I understand what you're saying. I mean, hear you because I do remember that, you know, and, and by the way, with regards to, to we're talking about death by suicide, I want to say to you guys that, you know, we bring no scales. Like suicide, you lose a child, it, it's it's horrible no matter how you lose a child. But the big important thing that I think that um we wanted to give you guys is that we are friends now and we understand yeah. one another and so we can talk about these things openly and it's it's okay to do that and it's yeah. I mean we can make each other laugh in fact I just gave her a hard time because I said in the very beginning I said Lorraine you never accepted me as a friend on Facebook and it's been over <laughs> <I'm on new laughs> <Facebook. laughs> it's been over a year um, but anyways I was stalking your page today just want you to know and I was looking at your What's family's beautiful there? pictures and Matthew I see she probably didn't even put them up there I bet I didn't even put them up there that's why I don't like to look Look at it. it's like, oh my gosh, what's that there? Oh, for? well, yeah, Chris but, put a picture of you with uh, which you were putting a facial mask on, and nah, <laughs> so my but, anyway, but, but see, we're laughing, that. and yeah. and because we're linking together, yeah. and in grieving moms, we always talk about linking arms together. You know, this journey is yeah. not to be done alone, whether it's no. death by suicide, if it's stillborn, you know, if it's an overdose, mm -hmm. if it's natural causes, you know, whatever it is. It's so much better to do this together. Mm -hmm. And and that's why it is my pa passion and purpose to keep wanting to do these Facebook interviews on, on here every Tuesday night at 6 o'clock Pacific Central. I'm sorry, 6, yeah, 6 o'clock Pacific Central time. Well, today was 6.10, but that's okay. Yeah. And then we have all of our groups that we want you to know that are available out there on grievingmoms.com. Yeah. Uh, that you can sign up for. They're online groups and you get on a screen with other moms. I mean, we've got, 
you know, we've got uh, Sharon is out there doing a group out in, in Arizona, and Lisa's doing a group that is on Monday nights, and we've got Jeannie on standby. I'm doing one at uh, church on Thursday, and I think this Michelle's going to be starting one up too. But there's a lot of availability. And when you, uh, when you do the groups, you're just going to go through this 12-week study. And it's called resurfacing. And you may have heard that I mentioned that we call it the landslide because, as we remember that day, we when Lorraine spoke of it, when you get the the doorbell, you get the phone call, or the doctor calls, or something, and this landslide just comes down on you. You cannot move. You you're frozen. It's dark. And what we want to do here is we want you to resurface. And that's, again, this is the Edelweiss flower coming out and resurfacing out of the cold, dark, freezing ground. And this is another one of my Edelweiss flowers here that is <laughs> resurfaced. And we're doing this together because I've been in the rooms by myself and sat there and cried. And that's okay, right? We can be in the room and cry. But even in our survivors of suicide, when these people are together, there is a lot of grace Mm -hmm. That's what I always want to tell all of you is that you've got to give yourself grace. I mm -hmm. I still can't find my wallet after three days. And I <laughs> oh, said, yeah. it's grieving brain, but my friends gently mm -hmm. told me, no, it's because you're old. Oh. And I said, but you know what? I'm going to get away with it. If there's anything positive that's going to come out of it, I'm going to say it's because I have a grieving brain. But you're just so disorganized at times, and you start off on a project, you can't finish it. And that's okay. Yeah, just like you have here. It's okay. Not to be not okay. to be okay. You just have to take it a day at a time. And that's because we loved our loved ones so much. Yes. You know, that's why if we didn't love them or we didn't know them, we wouldn't be faced. Yeah. But the fact is it's so uh, de debilitating at times. It's a testament to how, how much we love them. Yeah. And, and now we course, don't have them. And, of course, as moms, you know, we gave them birth. We gave up so many things for them. We had so many hopes and dreams for them. Yes. Um, for me, when I think of Matthew in despair and I was not there, mm -hmm. that really grieves me. Of course, you know, as any yeah. mom, right? You want to be, be there. right there. Tell you want to be okay. You never share, you know. So it, it's okay not to be okay. And God knows. Yeah. He knows because he grieves over us too. So, you know, Jesus was the man of sorrows, compassion for others. So he understands. Yeah. We're fragile clay pots. Yeah, we certainly are. So I, I saw one gal, she wanted to know the scripture verses. I think maybe it could have been the one oh, I quote. Yes. So Psalm 4610, um, First Thessalonians 416, and then Revelations 21. -4. You are so good. Well, those three, I'm not, they have stand out. Uh, Over four years, they stand out to me. That, yes. that those have been um, big anchors for me. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah. And then anybody else that and I see that Marjorie, you said that you're totally unorganized. You're in a fog, and yeah, we we get it. And and it looks uh -huh. like uh, we're being we're being prompted to go next door because Cynthia is saying now. <laughs> she's oh, so, she is. She's uh -oh. so she's so bossy. <laughs> well, anyway, in closing, I know that uh, we, we started a little bit later, but thank you for the grace on that. And, again, you guys, please just click on the link and join up in a group because it's not okay to look at, oh, my gosh, she's looking through the window right now. <laughs> you are scary. She's doing this in okay, her Okay, we got to go now. Okay, anyways, God bless you guys. Give yourselves grace, and we will see you out here next Tuesday with my next. Uh, Edelweiss flower. Thank you so You're much, welcome. Lorraine. Thank you for inviting me. Yes. God bless, God bless you. Have a great rest Bye. of your night.